Good afternoon, this is Connor from Zero DTE Traders here to present our market minute for May 14th, 2024. It is 12 o'clock and the SPX is trading flat at 52.25. A little bit surprising given the hot PPI print this morning and Powell's speech or uh, round table discussion. Uh, we obviously saw volatility in the pre-market in response to the report, but cash market, we've been sticking with the, the neutral chop type environment as we've seen over the past two trading sessions. This is also reflected in market internals, ADD plus 1000, growth mega caps outperforming. Uh, we got defensives down. So kind of a mixed bag here. I would say a bit of a, a bullish tilt, uh, if any. Uh, vol, so VIX, flat, uh, dollar rates tick lower. Um, so things are quite quite neutral here. We also see this reflected in zero DTE options positioning. 5250 max call, 5200 max put, 5225, 5220. We're seeing put volume build here, uh, which is essentially where we're trading at the moment. Um, in terms of the bigger picture, levels remain unchanged. 5200 is major support on the downside, followed by 5195, which is our flip. Okay, this is the transition from a supportive market regime to a destabilizing market regime. On the upside, 52.40 is the first resistance level for the bulls. Uh, we've seen selling pressure come in around this handle three days in a row now. A break opens the door to 52.50 and then the all-time high at 52.65. The SPX remains in positive gamma, 475 million, and the transition is quite clear, 4195, that is our flip. All strikes below are negative, that is destabilizing for the market price. A break of this level we would view as a risk-off indication. It would put us back into negative gamma, and we would anticipate a spike in implied volatility. So that is really a must-hold for the bulls. On the upside, you can see all strikes above 51.95 are positive, which is supportive for the market price, but there continues to be a lot of resistance overhead, 52.50, 52.75, and then the all-time high of 52.65. Now, below 52.25, uh, which is basically where we're trading at right now, there's a lot of micro support, uh, nothing that's really stand out. I would say, if anything, 52.10. And this is where the SPX has bounced off of in the past two trading days. Um, so perhaps that's a potential target bounce point today. Um, but really the level to watch is that 5200, which is a quite significant support. In terms of volatility, there's not a whole lot of change. Uh, we have seen five-day realized volatility contract hard back to that lower bound. Um, so we would start to anticipate a pickup in realized volatility Perhaps today, although that's not really the case thus far, uh, but tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, uh, we should anticipate higher volatility. Now recall, tomorrow we got CPI, uh, so there's definitely potential for volatility, um, and it should make for an interesting session. All right, guys, if you're not a member and you're interested in learning more, you can visit our website at zerodtetraders.com. Best of luck out there today.